Hi everyone, I'd like to make a little video on a question that people asking me quite a lot and um, yeah, so I hope it answers a lot of your questions. Okay, first I studied classical guitar uh, in college in Quebec and um, I learned uh, a lot of scales and uh, exercise for the left and right hand to, uh, to develop a, a good tone. And I studied uh, some uh, classical uh, uh, composers um, like uh, Barrios Mangore or Tarega or Andrew York or um, uh, Villa Lobos. And um, I learned a lot of songs. And uh, I think it's uh, really, really important um, to, um, for, for an acoustic guitar player uh, who wants to. Uh, to play a lot of steel string because you have to um, to have a very good tone and uh, uh, strong playing. And um, during this um, classical degree, uh, my teacher um, made me listen to uh, to Don Ross and um, uh, Michael Hedges and Leo Katke. And then uh, my life changed totally, and um, I decided to uh, uh, to be devoted to uh, the acoustic steel string guitar. And then I discovered um, uh, Stephen Bennett and Andy McKee, and uh, they are now uh, two of my biggest influences uh, for my work right now, as well as Michael Edges and Don Ross. Okay, here's the hacks. And uh, it's a, a stone bridge. All right, <laughs> 23 CR uh, as the model, and um, it's because it's in cedar, cedar top, and rosewood back and side. All right, beautiful rosewood, and uh, it's an amazing guitar. Really easy to play. Really good, um, good tone, bright tone. sustain it's incredible really really well balanced too and uh, it's equipped with the Fishman Rarert blend which uh, is a, a blend with uh, the magnetic pickup and the uh, condenser microphone inside here you can blend here with a little uh, wheel inside Hey, another axe that I really love is uh, this uh, Larry Vay. It's a jumbo G O uh, sorry J O <laughs> five. It's a jumbo model. It's too big to fit in the screen right now. And um, yeah, it's a spruce up and uh, mahogany back and sides. And uh, really, I really love it. It's a very deep and uh, torque, big torque sound. Yep. Okay, and I use uh, those uh, Dunlop medium thumb picks um, that I file the tip, the very tip. Here, uh, so they are shorter, and uh, I file kind of an angle um, right, right here. Um, it's hard to see here, but it's like um, I just file it like that way and that way a little bit. So it's it makes the um, the string uh, an easy way to cross the string when I upstroke. Okay, capos. Um, I use uh, this Kaiser capo, regular one, uh, often for a while right now uh, for partial capos or full capos or everything. I just this week bought this Shub capo, and it's yeah, it's it's very good. I think it's better because you, you it's smaller and you can you can um, you don't have anything that goes. Uh, under the neck here when you you want to reach a string behind this 
for a par partial capo. And uh, a very cool one is this this um, uh, third end capo here. And uh, if you can see, you you can put it on the on over the neck, and then you have some. Um, some kind of knobs here that you can choose which which string you want to push with the, the capo so you can choose to put like one or any combination of, of strings um, and what I do on the, on the song like memories of the future I, I use the sixth string knob here and I turn it on the string so sometimes I um, this this knob just uh, push the string for me, and then when I I want the open string I turn it like this and put it out, and um, so you can yeah it's very very cool. Okay for string gauges um, I use from the first string to the sixth string I use uh, 12, 15, uh, 23, um, 32, 42, and 56. Uh, it's almost you can you can go with a, a light gauge and uh, it's pretty much that and uh, for um, th th that's why you probably want two guitars at least because um, sometimes you want to drop really low for some songs and uh, you will need more attention than that you will need at least medium gauge and um, uh, that's why I tune down my uh, jumbo guitar, uh, like drop to C. So I use uh, a medium gauge on this one and a higher action. So I got a lot of torque and sound for the slow tunings. And uh, that's why I put some lighter string on the other because uh, on my Stonebridge because I I want uh, to make on this guitar I play mostly higher tunings uh, um, uh, and I drop down to D but it's or C sharp but not on C because it's kind of too low for this guitar uh, and um, for string um, brand I really love elixirs uh, elixir strings phosphor bronze they are very good alright for nails uh, what I do is um, I buy fake nails and uh, I glue them on the F of my fingers until you go right there and uh, what I do is I file the top of it and then uh, I, I take some uh, a brush with crazy glue and I, I make a joint kind of thing here and then I file the rest for the right shape so when I, I uh, I just um, glue the F so the this this F here is always new and uh, it helps because if if you scrap uh, because when you glue that on the old nail you scrap the old nail and it becomes thinner uh, and so you, you I prefer to just glue the F way here so I don't, I'm I'm sure that I will have some new nail coming and uh, breathing here uh, yeah okay here is the mystery question that everyone has because of this bandana here so this is a, a very magical thing so that that makes me play better no in fact it's um in fact it's only because when I when you you strum really hard on all your strings and uh, you mute you're gonna have this sound ringing if uh, if you can hear, I will make you hear that. Swing, and I really hate that. So it's just because when I when when I put the bandana here, it mutes the strings here, and so you don't hear it when you you stop your strings like this. Uh, no sounds. Great. So uh, thanks very much everyone uh, for uh, looking at my videos that I put on, on YouTube and um, it's really fun and cool to see some people, some of you are playing my songs too. Um, it's, uh, it's fun, <laughs> I really like uh, to watch you uh, play and um, 
it's uh, it's cool. I really like uh, that people can play my music and uh, share share this music, and uh, that's that's a very great pleasure for me. And um, I hope you will have uh, some answers uh, uh, solved uh, on this uh, this little video that I just made. And I uh, hope to see you uh, somewhere on the road this year or whenever. I don't know. Bye.